got some business to take care of. See you later. Women. I know, right? I hate to break it out to you, but Salazar is dead. Yes, it seems that way. Sadler, why don't you give up and let Ashley go home? Perhaps you are disillusioned with overconfidence. Just because you killed my small-time subordinate. Sadler, you're small-time. No. Oh. <laughs> Rive in my cage of torment, my friend. Holy shit, guys. We finally did it. We made it to the infamous Chapter 5. So this is uh, kind of the equivalent of when we went from the village to the castle. It's kind of the next big stage of the game. It's Actually, it's the last big stage of the game. Um, enemies are going to get a little more difficult. Wait, is this the way I want to go? Not just yet. There's a, there's a treasure back here you want to grab before you move forward because you won't have another chance to get it. But yeah, as I was saying, the enemies are going to get another upgrade. Uh, they get like upgrades in weapons and health and things like that. They get faster, smarter. There are like better traps you have to deal with. This is an emerald, which is the new generic collectible. It's like, you know, originally there were spinels and then velvet blues, and now there's emeralds. There's not a whole lot of them, honestly, that I can think of. Um, either that, or I'm just really terrible at finding them, and I don't know where they all are. But yeah. So, we're about to get thrust right into the action here. I am going to shoot out that spotlight before I jump over there. It's kind of hard to do with the pistol. Oh, I thought that was on. There we go. I don't know how much that really helps you. It's just something that I've always done because it just seemed like a good idea. Alright. Move forward a little bit. Draw the aggro. Holy shit! That dude fucking came flying at me! Wow, that was actually kind of creepy. I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expecting him to come sprinting out like fucking Carl Lewis like that. Ah, gotcha, bitch. Hey, I just noticed I can see a dude way off in the distance from here. I'm not sure if I ever picked up on that. I wonder if I can shoot him from here. Yeah, you little bitch. Oh, I so got him from way back here. That makes me happy. Okay. We gotta move forward a little bit farther. And I should trigger that guy. This guy is a huge prick. He does a ton of damage to you. And it's kind of hard to fight them because you don't have a lot of time to get your shots in on him before he just mows down everything in his path. And to be honest with you, I have no idea what his name is, like what he's actually called. I'm sure he has a proper name, but I've just always called him like Chain Gun Guy or Fatty. Ah, damn it, I missed him. So this is what I'm saying. You can stun him by shooting him in the face, but if you miss... Uh, he's just gonna mow you down with that chain gun and do a shitload of damage. So let's heal up. And see if we can draw him out again. The good news is he does do damage to all his little buddies, so he's cleaning house for me right now. Saving me on ammo. Oh, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? I can't believe that actually hit me. 
Look how much damage that did, too. That was like half my goddamn health bar. I'm surprised that actually hit him. It didn't look like it was going to. And this is exactly why I wanted to upgrade the rifle before I got to this chapter. At least the damage on it. Because I knew I was going to want it for this guy. Damn it, I can't see his face. He can definitely hit me, though. Oh, come on. Yeah, I can't see him at all right now. Nope! I think I'm gonna have to run up, honestly. And, uh, try and shotgun him. This isn't my usual tactic with this guy. But he's being a real asshole. And not giving me the chance to shoot him. I can hear somebody else come- Oh shit, he's climbing over! Woo! I thought he was about to smack me in the face with his gun. That is an attack he'll do if he gets too close to you. And it, it does a ton of damage, like everything else that guy does. Alright, now there's a couple other enemies around. There's definitely somebody shooting at me from somewhere. But the main threat is over. Oh, he's up above me, I think. Hmm, how do I get up there? Oh shit. Yeah, this part's kind of like mayhem. Here, this is what I was looking for. I knew there was, there was a place I could climb up somewhere. And get a better view of where all these people are. They're probably climbing up right about now. At least they're getting ready to. I can hear them. There he is. This is kind of a safe spot where you can hang out and not really worry, have to worry about getting surrounded. Which is important because the guys in this part of the game are so freaking fast. It's freaking unreal. How quickly they'll just get up on your nuts. Alright, now I don't like having that guy over here taking pot shots at me, so I'm gonna go try and take him out. Wow. Left and right. <laughs> but not in the face. That was all I was capable of. Go down! Okay, that works too. This guy should be close to dead. Okay, good. Whew. I took a lot more damage there than I wanted to. Because this is... Hardly any uh, any length into this chapter at all. There's still a long ways to go. Let's see. I definitely want to run around and loot. There's magnum ammo right there. Not sure if there's anything else super valuable around. I know I got the herb from in here, and that's probably most things that I care about. Oh, there's something in here too. TMP ammo. I should be using that up, honestly. I should go ahead and equip that, because I have one more upgrade I gotta make on the capacity for that. So there's a stupid laser puzzle in this part that you gotta solve. Very simple, very basic. Come up here and activate the laser. And then you just gotta swivel the mirrors around to redirect it back to the other side of the door. Really more of a waste of time than anything else. 
Looks like the reflector rotates. Do I want to rotate it? Well, yeah. Definitely do. So this is like some kind of military installation that was also taken over by the Las Plagas. That's why the uh, the enemy types here are so much better than the previous ones because it's they're like commandos with like military training and everything. And they will definitely kill your ass faster than anything we've encountered up to this point. So stick the laser on that other light receiver thing right there. And the door opens. Man, I'm, I'm really upset that I took that much damage already. I don't have as much healing as I thought I did. If you count the eggs, I still have a decent amount. Actually, I, I, that's kind of a lie. I actually had more than I even thought I did before I looked. I just have so many green herbs, I just have nothing to combine them with. But that's good for now. Let's move ahead, shall we? Let's see. Shotgun ammo here. I think they're about to drop a boulder on my head. This looks like one of those parts. Yep. So I guess I was kind of lying when I said that their traps got more sophisticated. <laughs> They're kind of going old school on you. <laughs> but, you know, it's a classic. It's a classic for a reason. Never worked on Roadrunner, though. It's not going to work on me. Man, I love this TMP. It's so freaking strong now. And it still has one more damage upgrade, too. Hmm. Oh, so this part just shows you those boxes over there in the very beginning that had the emerald and the ammo. In case you missed it, you can kind of go there and see that you missed something. I didn't think I was going to make it in time. That dude almost got his flail on me. Is that a flail or is it a morning star? Or is it a mace? No, it's definitely not flails. It's No, it's a mace. That's what it is. Flails are completely different. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Emerald. And where do I want to go? Let's jump across here. Is there a guy around here? Yeah, there's a couple of them. Alright, got them all lined up here. Let's do a little ammo conservation. Suplex him, because it's fun. How dare you try to hit me with that, you motherfucker. Get away from me. Doke. Makes quick work of them. This area is kind of confusing. Let's see, I think I want to come back this way. Definitely want the red herb. And I think there's a collectible back here. Yeah, you want to shoot this barrel. Get that shit out of the way. And I think you climb up from this side. Bam. And you got the golden links. So that's, as far as I can remember, that's the only item. God damn it. Jump down. That's the only item in this chapter that has to be combined with other items. And we won't be able to complete it for a good long while. And I'm not positive that I remember where the uh, all the gems are that combine with it. But I, th I, th I think I might. I might know where they all are. I don't know, we'll see. Here's another area with a spotlight. It's about to see me. Yep. I think it just told them where I am. It's kind of hard to take out. Whoa. I think somebody just shot a rocket at me. 
And I just shot that guy's crossbow bolts out of the air. So that's pretty badass. Please die. Thank you. Oh man, these guys are so well armed. Oh, check it out, a barrel. Damn it. I gotta back up. Thank you. Let's get him real quick while he's reloading. Oh, fuck me. That guy has dynamite. Okay, the TMP is not the most ideal weapon to use here. This guy needs snipes more than anything. Of course he's wearing a damn helmet. That's alright. And you too. Okay. Now let's take this back. And let's run up here. Oh shit. There might be people behind me, because I can hear one of those cattle prod sticks right now. I mean, there's a guy that has one of those really close to me somewhere. Here he is, he's creeping up behind me. Along with all his buddies. I'm going to keep moving up and see if I can funnel everybody up here. Except there's guys in front of me, too. Oh, fuck it. Let's suplex them. And keep moving. I think this is kind of a safe zone up here. And I am now officially running out of inventory space. Let's combine them and use them. Why not? I got so many freaking green herbs, there's no reason not to. So yeah, I'm safe up here. There's only one way they can come in. I'm just going to funnel everybody until they stop coming. You really got to be careful in this part of the game. These guys are so strong and so fast. They will kill you really quick. Damn, Plagas. Alright, let's use up a rifle round to take this guy out. Oh shit, I missed! From two feet away. Okay, well I ran down that magazine, so I'll upgrade that next time I get to a merchant. And I'm very close to whiling down the TMP magazine. I can still hear it, dude. Oh, hey. <laughs> I'm not sure what that dude was doing or why he was just standing there, but that was kind of funny. To me. I just heard somebody jump down from somewhere. Okay, and there's an explosive cart down there. Hey, you have dynamite. I'm gonna need you to go ahead and put that shit away right now. Because I don't like it when you have it. And I just accidentally reloaded when I didn't mean to. That sucks. Alright, well let's blow this thing up. And take out that guy, and hopefully the Plogus that fell down too. Yeah, perfect. That's why I kind of wanted to wait to... Oh my god, it didn't even even... It didn't actually kill him. That's fucking horse shit. Oh my god. I can't believe this guy's still alive. Where the fuck did you come from? Okay, that should finally be everybody. Okay, that didn't go terribly. I took a little more damage than I would have liked, but what the hell are you going to do? Let's press the switch and open the door. And here's a merchant. Welcome. First merchant of the islands. Got some rare things on sale. And he's got some new things what to buy selling? apparently. But first we're going to sell. 
Does anyone else think it's weird that the merchant managed to get here from the castle? Is that old strange? Or just the fact that he's been following us around this entire time? What are you buying? And not getting eaten alive or killed or whatever. So we can buy a treasure map for the island, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, Killer Seven is a new Magnum. Not as good as the Broken Butterfly because it has a, f a maximum firepower of 35 and the Broken Butterfly has a maximum firepower of 50, which is all I care about in a Magnum, so what are you buying? I can see no reason to go with the Killer 7. Is I will get this capacity stranger? upgrade, which is the last one <laughs> for the Broken you. Butterfly because that gives me 12 free rounds. Let's upgrade is this. <laughs> Thank you. Is that old upgrade <laughs> that. <laughs> Thank you. And do I have a capacity upgrade for this? Yeah, let's do that once. Is that all? <laughs> Just to Thank refill you. it. And obviously... Oh, I, I reloaded that, didn't I? I'll hold off for now. It's not hurting me. I don't need it. Come back anytime. And now we should be clear to move on. Oh, there's a whole bunch more dudes up here. I'm actually doing a lot better on rifle ammo than I was, like, up to this point in the game. I have a lot more than I thought I did. Alright, I'm gonna stun them all right there, and then I'm gonna burn them. Burn them alive! And that's everybody. Perfect. Alright, so this is a safe area now. I think this is probably a good spot to end this first video because we're about out of time. But this is your first glimpse of the islands. The game is going to tease me by dropping something up there that I literally cannot get, which is pretty shitty of them. But what are you going to do? So hey, thanks very much for watching. I'm Dude Longcouch, and check me out at GrownersGamers.com. See you next time.